In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Zeiss 55mm f1.8 lens for Sony E-mount cameras. And I'm going to answer the big question, is it worth the hype? Hey everybody, welcome to Dan Bowen Photography. On this channel, I do portrait photography tutorials and Sony gear reviews. And today, I'm gonna to be talking about the Zeiss 55mm f1.8 lens. Now, this lens was released in 2013 alongside the original Sony A7 camera. And since then, there have been a lot of reviews from camera reviewers saying that this is one of the best lenses in Sony's lineup. A lot of people have talked about how sharp it is and how it can give you some incredible quality images. So I'm going to be walking through the technical specs of the lens and then showing you some sample images that I shot using my Sony a6000. So first, let's walk over some of the technical specs of the Zeiss 55mm f1.8. Now obviously it's a 55mm focal length lens, which is about an 82.5mm equivalent on a crop sensor camera like the a6000. This makes it really good for portraits and headshots. Now this lens was designed for full frame Sony mirrorless cameras, but it fits on crop sensor cameras as well. It has nine circular aperture blades and seven elements in five groups. The lens weighs just over 280 grams and about 324 grams with a lens hood. Now let's talk about some of the performance qualities of this lens. First off, it is sharp as hell. It is a very sharp lens. If you're looking to get one of the sharpest lenses in the Sony lineup, then the 55 millimeter lens is a great option to look into. Again, another thing that I like about it is that it has very nice and smooth bokeh or blurriness in the background when shooting at 1.8. One thing that I noticed when I was shooting with it on my A6000 is that it doesn't seem to autofocus quite as well as some of my other lenses. Now this might be just because I was shooting in kind of low light situations indoors and on a cloudy day, but I definitely got a lot more slightly out of focus images than I would say shooting with my 35 millimeter f1.8. Now that being said, that could be just user error. It could be because this lens was designed for full frame cameras and might not perform as well on the a6000. So I'd probably have to do a little bit more testing to get a sense of whether the Zeiss 55 really does have performance issues with autofocus. So without further ado, let me show you some sample images that I took with the Zeiss 55 millimeter f1.8. Now let's answer the burning question. Is this lens worth the price tag? Now if you can afford this lens without breaking the bank, then I say it's definitely worth it to get the Zeiss 55mm f1.8. But if you're shooting with a camera like the a6000 and you're already satisfied with lenses like the 50mm f1.8 or the 35mm f1.8, then it doesn't necessarily make sense to spring for the Zeiss. That is, unless you can afford it and really want to get your hands on this lens. Now, if you can't afford it, there are more budget-friendly options that sort of achieve the same results, or at least the same focal length, and those lenses would be the Sigma 60mm f2.8 and the Sony 50mm f1.8. Both of those lenses are much more affordable, less than a third of the price of the Zeiss lens, so they're more budget-friendly options available for you if you can't afford the Zeiss. Now in a future review, I'm gonna be comparing the Zeiss 55 millimeter lens with the Sony 50 f1.8, so keep an eye out for those reviews. Also, be sure to subscribe to Dan Bowen Photography for more portrait photography tutorials and gear reviews like this. We'll see you soon, folks. This has been another episode of Dan Bowen Photography. Peace. Hey, before you go watch another video, I just wanted to let you know about this free guide that I put together. Now, if you're struggling to pick the right lens for your Sony a6000, I created the free 
Sony A6000 Lens Picker Guide. Now you can get this PDF download completely free when you sign up to my email newsletter. I put a link in the description where you can sign up and get this free PDF that shows you how to pick the right lens for your budget and what type of content that you shoot. So check out the link in the description box, put in your email address, and you'll get that sent straight to your inbox.